You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Carly Russell has been arrested. Let's hear the press conference. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Frank and Pam Bearfield Training Center. I'm Captain Keith Sescaliba with the Hoover Police Department, and we're here today to provide you with the latest update in the Carly Russell investigation. Uh, joining me at the podium today will be police followed by Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall. Chief Durgis will make a prepared statement. After Chief Durgis' statement is over with, Attorney General Marshall will also offer a few comments. Uh, once that is completed, both gentlemen uh, will return to the podium and you guys will have an opportunity to ask questions. Uh, with that, I will turn it over to Chief Durgis. Thank you, Captain. Good afternoon. Earlier today, Hoover Police Detectives obtained warrants for the arrest of Carly Russell through the Hoover Municipal Court for her actions related to faking her kidnapping and subsequently making false statements to detectives as they investigated this case. Her decisions that night created panic and alarm for the citizens of our city and even across the nation as the concern grew that a kidnapper was on the loose using a small child as bait. Numerous law enforcement agencies, both local and federal, began working tirelessly not only to bring Carly home to her family, but locate a kidnapper that we know now never existed. Many private citizens volunteered their time and energy into looking for a potential kidnapping victim that we know now was never in any danger. This story opened wounds for families whose loved ones really were victims of kidnappings, some of which even helped organize searches in hopes they could find Carly's alive so that her family would not experience the pain and suffering that they felt when their loved ones never returned home. As we know, actions can have consequences, and that's why we're here today. This afternoon, Carly Russell, with the assistance of her attorney, turned herself into the Hoover City Jail, where she was arrested for the following charges. False reporting to law enforcement authorities, Class A misdemeanor, $1,000 bond. Falsely reporting an incident, a Class A misdemeanor with a $1,000 bond. Each of these charges carry up to a year in jail, a potential fine of $6,000 upon conviction. Ms. Russell was released from jail after posting bond. We initially presented this case to District Attorney Lanise Washington, who agreed to handle prosecution through district court. After consulting with the Circuit Court of Jefferson County Bessemer Division, the case was referred back to municipal court for charging because the only actual charges were misdemeanors. Judging from the amount of phone calls and emails that we've received from people all over the country, I know many are shocked and appalled that Ms. Russell is only being charged with two misdemeanors, despite all the panic and disruption her actions caused. Let me assure you, I too share the same frustration, but existing laws only allow the charges that were filed to be filed. I can tell you that I will be contacting our state legislatures on behalf of law enforcement in Montgomery and asking them to look at this law applied to these facts and urge them to add an enhancement to current legislation when somebody falsely reports kidnapping or another violent crime. Because of the attention this case has garnered, we've requested Attorney General Steve Marshall's op office adopt this case, and they've agreed to do so. The Hoover Police Department wants to thank everyone that assisted us from the beginning and continues to assist us in this case as we work its way through the criminal justice system. Joining me at the podium today is the State of Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall. Thank you, Chief. Let me begin by commending Hoover Police Department Chief Durgis for his leadership in this investigation. Obviously, this captured many's attention as a result of not only the allegations themselves, but also the concern about a possible victim and being able to return her home. The work that was done by the Hoover Police Department was monumental in its lift, and the results of that work you are seeing come to fruition today with the charges that have been levied. I also want to commend the many other men and women of both state and federal law enforcement for their work collaboratively with the Hoover Police Department in, in assisting in this investigation. Chief, appreciate the opportunity to be able to partner with you in this prosecution. We will dedicate a team to be able to help the city of Hoover in handling these two individual charges uh, and look forward to bringing this case to fruition. One thing I would add is that we don't see this as a victimless crime. There are significant hours spent resources expended as a result of this investigation. And not only that, but the many men and women who are civilians at war, those yellow vests on a hot 
afternoon and evening looking for someone they thought was abducted, trying to be of assistance. Uh, we intend to fully prosecute this case and look forward to working with the Hoover Police Department moving forward. We also would tell you that we will continue to monitor this investigation to determine whether or not there are any additional charges that need to be brought, and we'll evaluate those as the facts are presented. Miss <sighs> Carly Russell, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about what her lawyer had to say as well. But let me get my first initial thoughts on this. Should she have been arrested? Of course she should have. I mean, what, I mean. This was a false lie. You don't just get to do whatever you want in this life and then make up lies and then have people use all the resources that have all these people hashtagging Carly Russell. And then for people who really have lost their sons and daughters, it's such a case. We should always make sure that we don't ever have this happen again. You got to make a um, you got to make a statement. You got to make a, uh, an example. That's what I'm trying to say. Make an example. Now, I understand she now should she go to jail for 10 years? Of course not. Right. I understand that nobody's going to be happy with whatever her sentence is. Some people say it's too long, too short. doesn't matter. The fact that she could possibly get convicted and she should be convicted of going to jail. I don't know how any other way she could get out of this. Now, I could see her um, not having any prison time. I could see her oh, was prison time. I could see her not having any jail time. I could see her just simply getting off for like six months of probation uh, or like a year of probation and having to do community service. I could totally see something like that happening. Um it was a very serious thing and people did have to spend their money. She may have to get money back to the people. Um, I'm not sure what would be the correct um, sentencing and what would make people happy. But for me, um, her going to jail and having some time and having to pay back for those resources that she uh, gave up would be very important. So let's hear what our lawyer had to say. Of course, you know, my YouTube slow. Carly bonded out earlier today, but this case is far from over, Lisa. Yeah, that's right. A guy and Brittany, she left her attorney's office right here behind me late this morning and not long after that turned herself into Hoover authorities at the Hoover jail. Now that begins the legal part of this very bizarre case. Now authorities held a press conference this afternoon, not long after she actually bonded out of jail and they announced she is facing two misdemeanor charges. Each charge deals with making a false statement to police and carries up to a year in jail and a $6,000 fine. Hoover Police Chief Nick Durza said, like many others, he too is frustrated Carly won't face more serious charges. I asked Carly's attorney this afternoon if Carly was relieved to hear the charges against her. I don't think anyone feel relieved about being charged with anything where there's a possibility that you're looking at jail time. So I, I don't think anyone feels, and certainly uh, Carly, it's a young lady that uh, is having difficult issues right now, but uh, uh, hopefully she'll work through them. Now, another major announcement. I just want to say something real quick. Difficult issues. I just don't like hearing that kind of stuff because it was clear she said she was not going through anything mentally. It's still like she feels like she's still trying to garner our sympathy and empathy for something that she did that was a complete lie. And she still had to come out and told us where she was. She's going to have to have this information come out because she's going to have to go to court. So best believe this is not all over. Um, but she does get charged. We're going to find out where she went and how she did this. Um, and I and the only reason I think it is important to know where she went and why she did this because this will help us in further cases that this should ever happen again. If somebody does a false kidnapping or anything and it would help us let her know let us know what the motivation may be if she wants to sneak off with a sneaky link or something like that i'm not sure maybe she just wanted to get away it will at least let us look into this and see why she would even do something like this but during that news conference is the fact that attorney general steve marshall's office is going to be prosecuting this case wtm 13 chip scarborough now joining me live from hoover with that part of the story chip Yeah, Lisa, Attorney General Steve Marshall says he plans to prosecute this case to the fullest. He says he agreed to take on the case after being asked by the Hoover police chief himself. Now, the police chief says he asked Steve Marshall to become involved in this case because of the national and even international attention the case has received over the last couple of weeks. Marshall says the monumental work of the Hoover Police Department resulted in the charges announced today. He says both state and federal law enforcement also played a role. And Marshall adds countless hours. That better not be her mugshot. If that's her mugshot, I got some issues. How are you in there smiling after what you done did? You just, I don't know if that's her mugshot, but if that's her mugshot, that's wild. Well, obviously, no, she didn't even go to jail. No, she did go to jail. They, she bonded out. 
Um, a thousand dollar bond meant she only had to pay a hundred dollars to get out. By the way, yeah, they only had to pay ten percent. So she had a thousand dollars. She had thousand dollars. So she's paid two hundred dollars to get out. But uh, I, if that's her mugshot, that just makes me ask a lot, a lot of questions. But let me tell you guys something right quickly. Okay, this rarely ever happens, but I'm just saying some people may be thinking about it. She is not going to be able to plead insanity. No way. Okay, Insa pleading insanity is one of the hardest things to do. Blaming a mental illness is one of the hardest things to do in court. And the fact that they have the text messages saying that she was looking up Taken, she was looking up Amber Alert, she was looking up this, she was looking up that, said that she was in a sane mind. Because somebody who was insane or has dealing with the mental illness, they just did this off the clip. Like they would have just did this immediately. She thought this out days before, which is going to be able to prove that she probably more than likely was not going through anything. She thought this completely out. Were spent and numerous resources used to search for Carly Russell, a woman believed to have been abducted. Then there were volunteers who searched as well. We intend to fully prosecute this case and look forward to working with the Hoover Police Department moving forward. We also would tell you that we will continue to monitor this investigation to determine whether or not there are any additional charges that need to be brought and we'll evaluate those as the facts are presented. And Birmingham trial lawyer Tommy James tells me it is unusual for an attorney general to uh, to prosecute misdemeanor charges, but he says this is an extraordinary case. He also adds that while the charges may not be what some wanted, he says they're still serious charges. Live in Hoover, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. All right, Chip, thank you very much. Well, one of the questions that remains unanswered in this case is why? Why would Carly Russell orchestrate such an elaborate hoax? I asked her attorney that, and coming up at 6 o'clock, hear what he had to say. Live in Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13. Lisa, thank you. As we've said before, Carly Russell has quite the legal battle ahead. She's charged with two misdemeanors, falsely reporting an incident and falsely reporting to law enforcement authorities. If convicted, both charges carry a penalty of up to a year in jail and a potential fine of up to $6,000. Yeah, we'll continue to follow this case closely for you once Carly heads to court. Yep, and that'll probably be a while from now. Um, takes a while to get this stuff into court, um, but best believe this could be one of the most, it's gonna be a very big court date. And you know what, guys? I normally don't do this, but if that court date comes along, right, and it comes here soon, we are gonna watch that court date together. Um, I think it's very important that, you know, since I've been making a few videos on this, um, that we kind of see this all the way through. So if a court date comes on and they live stream it, we are going to watch that court date and we're going to hear it out in its entirety. I'll try my best to commentate throughout it, um, but understand I'm not a lawyer, okay? I'm going to try to get as much information as I can on what happened and I'll give you the best of my opinion, but I'm not a lawyer. So if you do want to watch the, a lawyer do it, you can go do that. But best believe we'll be here. We'll have a great time, okay? All right, hope you guys have a great night. This video was unexpected, but I had to make it um, since I had already made a few videos on this. Thank you, and don't forget, like, subscribe, share if you want to. If you don't, cool. All right, have a good one. Goodbye.